Thank you for joining me here at the Spectrum of Lighthouse. I am Brett Pouquet. Today I have a Soul Tribe and a Starseed Family Oracle message. This is a collective reading, but if you are viewing this, then this message is for you. Whether you're an Aries, a Virgo, a Cancer, anything like that. Before we begin though, if you would like a personal reading where we can dive deeper uh, in any sort of relation in your life, aspect of your life, um, all of my information is in the description box below. Use discernment as scammers are known to post as readers and scamming people. So always remember, you must reach out to me for a reading. So this, like I said, is a general reading. It's going to be a Soul Tribe Starseed Family Oracle message. So we're going to pull a few cards and see what messages come out. So this first card is going to be from the Starseed Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell, artwork by Danielle Noel. I will eventually have a video about all the different cards that I use and that I have. And I will also eventually have in the description box below a link of where you can buy their cards. Now, the cards might be a little bit more expensive or so because I'm going to go directly to the person. <coughs> Excuse me. As opposed to like an Amazon thing, unless their link is in Amazon accounts. But for this first card with this Starseed Oracle message, this is the next step you're being called to make. So this message, all right, this is the next step that you're called to make from your soul tribe and, and Starseed family. Some people um, kind of resonate with both of them as being like the same thing. Others say it is different. I just say take what resonates and leave the rest. I like to say that a soul tribe is made up of starseed families in a way, or maybe vice, vice versa. You might feel comfortable like that. And as you can tell, so this is more of an oracle reading, so I like to just say, viewer, that there are many beautiful, talented, spectacular, traditional tarot card readers that I like to subscribe to, especially on this channel, to support them so you can check the subscription or the channels that I follow. I think I'm going to make it uh, public if it's not public already. And you can check them out. There's, there's some amazing, beautiful people out there. I, this is, I went a different path. I sort of went the route less, less traveled and sort of did... This Starseed Oracle deck. I have other um, Oracle decks and this other deck called the Frequency Tarot deck. All right, Sparrow, what message? What baby step does the viewer need to take? But anyways, I have all that information down below. Let's shuffle one more time and see. So, the messages will probably resonate and be the same as like tarot messages. It's just different, a different way to receive the message. Okay. Spirit, what is the next step, the baby step that the viewer is being called to make? Do this one. This one came out a little weird, not in a bad way. And also, all the cards have messages that are written here. And again, like the traditional tarot deck, um, where people can kind of look at it and interpret the pictures and everything. These are a little different because, I mean, granted, it says Cosmic Ancestor, Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. It's called Star Keeper. Okay, so a quick little 
the next step you're being called to do is stay grounded because there's going to be light downloads if you want to call them light codes uh, inspiration whatever word you want to put is fine by me but you're going to be getting higher vibrational frequencies into you so you need to stay grounded <clears throat> oh, sorry about all that. This is unedited, unfiltered. This is raw stuff. I don't really edit my videos um, in that sense because it's just a full, full, fl uh, free flow. That's that's something about me. Unless, like, I'm gonna fix these this popping and the volume and everything, and. I try not to read the comments because of a lot of scammers and such, but also I would like to have more of a community, so I will probably be reading comments and maybe deleting ones that are more negative and such. We'll see how it goes. So Starkeeper, so I'm just going to read the message and the Starseed activation with this. So again, you can definitely listen to these videos if you want while you're driving, if you're doing cleaning or anything like that. Because sure, I have these uh, little pictures here and everything. It'd be great to look. But it is mainly hearing the words and letting the vibration of my voice and the vibration of the words that I say just wash over you. You're an ancient keeper of the stars. Here to anchor and seed your light in your unique way. So the message I'm immediately getting is correct. So if, if you're just you're just stumbling upon this video, then you are more unique. You are one of a kind. Like I said, the Starseed Oracle deck. This is a Starseed message. I do. I will have probably a playlist because one video won't do it justice. But I'm going to start with a video. In this booklet, they have a starseed kind of chapter in the beginning. I like to t just have a video talking about that and then giving my thoughts also about it, my feelings on it being a starseed, and how we all can do this in different ways. It, it doesn't have to be like all of us on YouTube or on video or on radio in the public eye you could just be working at a regular not in a bad way a regular job but just a job that is like a mailman or woman or doing construction or a teacher or doing retail or something like that you're still interacting with people your energy is still going into this work thus it's impacting people even that you don't know like there's teachers that I feel I still have them pretty I'm uh, where we had songs and everything that I still remember to this day and I'm at the time of recording this this is a timeless reading but the time of recording this I'm 37 about to turn 30 in a week I'm August 23rd 1984 so 7:20 a.m. so I'm about to turn 38 and I still remember stuff from like 30 years ago it's insane but that's the impact that you can have on people you've likely been incarnating on earth for some time past lives and such dedicated to an era of awakening and bringing about a long-awaited shift in the planet's evolution we're at a tipping point now the survival of earth and all its species is coming to a head. <clears throat> the more grounded you remain during this transitional period, the more helpful you'll be. So, the baby step. I call it the baby step because in the card deck, it's the one card. So it's, it's the move you need to make. It's the baby step you need to make. The, the next step you're being called to make. This could be a huge leap for you though, even if it's a baby step. Excuse me, even if it's a baby step. Because um, grounding is so important. And being a, a Virgo sun rising, a Virgo Mercury and Venus, 
and having a Capricorn in, in Jupiter, a lot of grounding Earth. I have a I have a problem with actually grounding sometimes. So this is a good reminder for all of us, again, no matter the sign, to stay grounded so we can anchor that light. The more you tend to the flames of your own heart, the more love you'll anchor onto this planet. The wisdom of the stars is imprinted in your soul. The more soul fragments you call home, the more this wisdom is seeded here. And I, and I, I would say that if you call back parts of yourself in any way, even if you say it yourself, I, I have my own custom way of doing it every morning. But if you just write your way, I call back all aspects of myself from anyone who is still holding on. May the holes and cracks that this causes in those be filled with their own unconditional love for themselves. Something like that. You may be called to be in different places in the world to anchor this light. Perhaps by taking a trip or living in a certain location. So yeah, this could be because maybe you're viewing this and <clears throat> you're trying to decide if you should move. Yeah, move. I mean, this isn't... Perf I mean, you're your own human. You have free will. You don't have to do what I say. But if you're seeing this... And you're planning it and you're just needing that confidence, that reassurance, then do it. If you even just need to take a trip somewhere. I live in um, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and I'm thinking about maybe going to like Hershey or something. It's still in and around like Bucks County or Pennsylvania and everything, but it's still moving. It's still going on a trip. So this, this can be in any grandiose or small way that is resonating with you. But this, these messages are going to resonate with you either way. You may also find yourself experiencing awakening symptoms. So that could be colds, flu-like symptoms. I know we have all this like stuff going on in the world, but fatigue, headaches, aches and pains and everything like that. It's because you need to stay grounded, stretch get some massages, reflexology. Again, if you're in the Bucks County area, I do that, this whole cave at Newtown. And, but do things like that to stay grounded because this light is coming in and it's changing you at a cellular level. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become. <clears throat> Excuse me. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become, and the less reactive humanity will be. You're here for a double mission, to grow as an individual and as part of a larger collective that's bringing about a shift in frequency. Trust that you can be in the world, but not of it. Trust that you can be in the world but not of it. One more time for those in the back. Trust that you can be in this world, in the 3D, enjoying what the 3D has to offer, but not of it, not consuming and being consumed by it. And lead a truly glorious life. Just place your hands on, on your heart. And you can say this inside out loud if you like. But I'm going to say this. Starseed activation. I acknowledge that I am a star keeper. I choose to anchor my light. And stay as grounded as possible. By the way, the page number this is on is 110 and 111. 11 and 111. So that might be a meaning. The second card is a cosmic reading oracle card.
this is what message um this is a message your soul tribe and starseed family want you to know beautiful so far like share and subscribe help the channel grow because once I get to once once people when these pages get to like a thousand subscribers, I can go live and take your live questions even, and even have like live interviews with people because I really like these other tarot readers and I want to kind of get them on to interview them if if they want and to promote them, like Arcana Shores, they're lovely like Janine, you know, the power, the power hitters, but also like any of the Vir Virgo channels I follow and any of the other ones. But this is, again, I know I titled this the title, <laughs> one message, you know, but this is the cosmic, you know, this is one message they, they have for you. This is the second card, the second message they have for you right now. Let me Shuffle it this way one more time. Now, eventually I will like to have timestamps, but also at the same time, I feel like you can, if this is, because sometimes I get not annoyed by the shuffling, but the time and everything. So I definitely advise listen to this at 1.5x or 2x even just to get past this sort of part <laughs> but it's a, I, I don't really want to like skip the shuffling because oh, no okay because um I like the shuffling because like some messages come out Plus, you can see it in real time and see what happens. Too many cards, Spirit. Let's just get one card. Soul Tribe, Starseed Family. What do you have to say to the viewer in this moment? What message do you have for the viewer? One more. Hold this. Perfect. For these, it doesn't matter if the card's reversed or not. This is number 30, which is a great number, the Trinity, 3. It says strength. So your soul tribe and starseed family's message to you is strength. It's not like the typical tarot strength card has that, you know. And there's only, I want to say, what is it, 36? There's not that many cards in this deck, is my point, to where it's not like a tra traditional tarot deck, but strength is there. And this is the message that your, yeah, 36. This is the message that your starseed family, that your soul tribe has for you. Lao Tzu said, mastering others is strength. Mastering, mastering yourself is true power. There's a sort of booklet, but so these readings again, these this is more just reading the messages, letting the words sink in, the vibration of my voice and the words mixed together sink in and let it help activate, <clears throat> help clear any blockages that you might have. This card comes to you to remind you of your inner strength and courage. Although you may be feeling weary and hopeless at this time. Do not lose faith and heart. You are a lot stronger than you realize. Moving through this chapter of your life, you will understand the lesson of having to release your inner resistance and fears. By uncovering your true strength, you'll have the courage to move through it with clarity, understanding, and compassion. Your prayers for strength have been heard. Release all fears that are blocking spiritual guidance. Breaking down walls will help you see, dear one. 
all the synchronicities and signs communicated to you. The spirit teachers of love and light wish only to serve the highest good of all, to offer guidance, love, and reminders of what you already hold within yourself. You hold so much strength, courage, determination, and perseverance. And if you're here, then you straight up are. Just showing you from here, can you just see the similarities in, in, the, in the color? Breaking down walls will help you. Yeah, I said that. Spirit, um, hold on, there it is. The first step in uncovering and embracing your true strength is to accept your current state. Whatever it is, whether it is vulnerability, powerlessness, emotional fragility, or weakness. So the first step just... Something I've always been, I'm taking this pause because it's easier said than done, of course, with everything that any of us readers are saying to you, okay? But the one important lesson that I've learned throughout everything is accepting where I am in the moment as opposed to numbing myself with smoking or running to a different state or running into a relationship and ignoring my problems. It was always finding the strength. Now again, there were times that I would use plant medicine more so mother marijuana but in the times that I would just over consume to just consume or the times that I noticed that I was lower feeling and sadder and would avoid things so this is just saying that's the first step is to face it the second step is surrendering to that universal life force of love allow the third step empowerment to flow into your life naturally strength and empowerment will come use this chapter to find your deepest source of strength to renew your faith and be all that you truly are a spiritual warrior living in conscious freedom here's a prayer if you are driving or anything just take let's take a listen a little bit and everything if you are doing anything else that is not operating machinery or going fast, close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and listen to these words. Say them in your mind or write them down for later. Great Spirit, guide me through this period. Give me the insight, courage, and strength I need to cultivate the source of strength already within me. Associated chakras are the sacral and solar plexus, the orange and the yellow. Strength card 30 is on page 81. 3 and 9 is 12. Just three, but I send all my love. If you need any more guidance, like I said, my information is in the description box. I hope that these readings help you, because I know that these cards have helped me through my own experiences, through my own downtime, is when I needed to trust in my own power, which is these cards, whether it's doing them yourself or watching people do them. This is meant, by the way, 
which I have a tendency to forget, but um, this is for, this is a timeless reading, and it's going to be for the next week to two weeks. So the energy is very potent and still changing, but this will be a very, this will be at least a week that um, this energy will be with you because I post these weekly. And then I have another longer spread that is more we um more about in depth. Well, let me talk about that later. I'm kind of shuffling here, and I'm I'm losing my train of thought while I'm talking. So again, the information is down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to get notifications because I will be, like I said, posting videos weekly. You know, I think I'll do one, a few videos. You'll see what I mean. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, these are the Keepers of the Light. So, this message from your soul tribe from your starseed family is which keeper of the light to call upon especially now if you're being called two of them okay we're taking them they both flipped out together hilarian divine healing honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others your strength, and then also green Tara, supreme protection, you are protected, cords are being cut, move beyond limitation, trust. Now this is usually a three card spread, but I wouldn't do this, but spirit wants these messages, and whatever cards pop out, I will take them. So the time on these videos always vary, because things like this happen. Okay, so with these two, you should call upon, oh, I don't know why I did that, and then, uh, so we're going to read and see what H Hilarion, and look at that, they're right next to each other, so let me do Green Tar first, because Green Tar is alphabetical in that sense. Legend has it. That Avalokitesvara, the personification of perfect compassion, was looking down on the earth one day and cried tears when he witnessed all the suffering in the world. When the tears hit the earth, a lotus formed, from which Tara, the goddess of compassion and light, was born. She has many forms based on different colors. And we have chosen green in this oracle because she brings a light of protection and safety with her. Always compassionate and loving, she helps us move into a new state of being and doing. And they're both green, which is heart. Heart chakra activation, heart chakra healing, having the strength. Ah, this is beautiful. I'm sending all my love, all my love to you. All my love. Subscriber, viewer, brother, sister, I love you so much. You are safe. Protection is all around you. This this page, is, this channel is going to be a place, a safe haven for people like us, okay? I'm wearing green, green all around. This is the heart center, okay? The worst is behind you. You have the strength to move forward. And you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set out for you. Cords are being cut between you and your past so that you can feel energetically clear and aware. Don't worry about recalling fearful experiences. They aren't going to be re recreated now. Just acknowledge them and leave them behind so you can step 
into a space of spiritual and personal freedom. Green Tara has placed a force field of complete love and acceptance around you. Breathe that in and accept it if you so choose. She is here to tell you that you are no longer, that you no longer need to build up walls around your heart and that it's safe to trust what you feel and who is in your life today. Hilarion is a spiritual master who lived in the Middle East during the 4th century. His divine healing, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. At the age of 15, he felt the call to go to the retreat of St. Anthony in the Egyptian desert. This was busy with people needing healing, so after a while, he went back home with some monks. During that time, his parents passed away, and it is said that Hilarion was so devoted to service, he gave all of their estate to his brothers and the poor. For the rest of his life, he lived as a hermit in a cave, was said to perform miracles with his prayers and touch. To this day, he is dedicated to healing, but he also helps spiritual people who feel overly sensitive to overcome their challenges and integrate with the normal world. Wow. I can see why these two came out to help you. You're a divine, deep feeling being that is here to help shift the consciousness of this world. And you're doing it, but this is definitely, I hope this gives you strength. I, I hope if you feel called that you can book a session with me we can help you or book that session with that person you've been feeling called to book with again it, what matters is that you go on your path if i'm a part of it beautiful if it's just these videos beautiful if all you do is like and share these videos and subscribe and comment and help others through this channel that's god's work my friend Prime creator, universe, whatever word. The world can seem overwhelming. This is the extended message. The world can seem overwhelming to you. And it's okay to retreat to a safe space every now and then. To cleanse and recharge your energy. What's funny about that, let me, that Hilarion spends his life in a cave. Right now, I am... At the Newtown Salt Cave. The Salt Cave at Newtown. Salt Cave. We have a man-made cave where I do reflexology, re, uh, Reiki. I do meditations, these card readings, different types of card readings. And that's, that's just great that he came out just to like say that. It's almost like I'm channeling him and I'm channeling all this because... That's what I'm meant to do. So I hope you can realize what you're meant to do. You may feel called to serve others or share your healing with them. But please ensure you are filled up with light, love, and energy first. So that you are not sacrificing your own development for others. That is why... I'm going to move a little. That is why I, I like... Reiki in that sense. Or whichever way that you can tap into the divine universal life force energy of love that is all around us. As opposed to using your own energy and being depleted and taking on other people's energy. So if you learn even just level one of Reiki, you get the attunements and everything. Again, if you're in the Bucks County area, I got my info below. Call the Soul Cave at Newtown. Google them book an appointment um you're you're needed now more than ever which is why i'm starting this channel the spectrum of lighthouse you're on that spectrum of, of healing for people your voice is needed just like my voice is needed there's room for everyone
You are surrounded by the healing light of Hilarion. Hilarion? Yeah. And the healing angels at this time. So that you can recharge and feel whole. Beautiful. I think that is all the messages. So, your soul tribe through three different decks. Your starseed family wants you to know that the first baby step, the first step, in your journey is to stay grounded because that light's going to come in and you're going to need that grounding strength. So use Green Tara for the supreme protection, Hilarion for divine healing. And if you need, so we can always heal ourselves, but if you need another person to help you, reach out to another person. Do whatever you need to do it's okay. I'm a I'm a, a teacher in this sense too and I still get help. You know, I still struggle too. We're humans. So we're you hum we're spirit having a human experience, so we can't deny the humanity part. Yeah, we're spirit, but we're human as well and we came here to be hum human and to help humanity. So I send all my love to you from the deepest space, the most sacred space of my heart. Thank you. I know that this reading has resonated with you if you have stayed this long to the end. Comment below that you stayed this long. And let me know if this resonated with you. I love you so much. Thank you.